Hi, uh, this is There Will Be Boobs, episode 5. Episode Cinco. Cinco for our Spanish-speaking patrons. <laughs> this is, uh, we're reviewing some. Zeta 1 from 1969. Clearly a sexploitation movie. Really, um, I, let's start with the rating. I'd say... Are we going to say high B high or B. low C? Yeah. I say high B. High B. B it really plus, didn't break B into the C jump, you know, area. The it quality had kind of... It had boobs. It had a good amount of boobs. They weren't high quality boobs. What are you going to do? I well, mean... It was, it was only like movie. seven or eight chicks total that showed their boobs. Right, so. yeah. They they made good use of reusing the ones that, that were willing and to take their top clips. off on camera. It was, yeah, so... Um, Strong B. Uh, the plot. There's there's space aliens from the planet Angvi. Which Angvia. is an obvious anagram for the female uh, Female Angvia. genitalia. Yes. Angvia. They're, you know, Who how's your... This general area. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we start off in the movie, the credits are the first thing that roll, and it's just still shots of topless chicks. Which really got our hopes up right away. We thought this. We already this, thought it was like a C. Easily. It's got to be, but over time, I mean, they really just didn't have that much, that much boobage or no violence and and the, poor editing and you know, the whole like beginning credit scene kind of thing made me think more towards James Bond where they show all the women around and the 1969 style. So of course movie. we got to mention it's a huge rip off yeah. of James Bond. It's it's like James Bond crossed with Ron Burgundy, <laughs> which which kind of works, but. I mean, in a way, they also do it very tongue-in-cheek because there's some serious slapstick and <laughs> and mustache failure. Why, James? I think someone gave me a shitty Hitler. <laughs> Definitely prop failure, although they prop did. Failure. I wonder if they almost... Had it happen accidentally, and then they were like, well, "Just leave it in. We don't have we don't have the money to edit it out, so leave it in." Why not? Improv. But. And it leads pretty early into the the realization that James Bond is gay. So what? Uh, so uh, what are you going to do about it? Go. Nope. Have another drink. Oh. James Bond is gay. Uh. Let me take off my gay tassel. I think it's a, a neckerchief. <laughs> so, now that the mood's thoroughly um, broken... I'm gonna try to kiss it. Uh, uh, I, I think... Not, uh, 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 don't touch my lips, you oh. did Ew. God, she didn't kiss me. <sighs> That's a right. James. James gay. Bond is gay. <laughs> yeah, there's there's quite a few scenes where I think it's the whole the whole mustache thing when he has the mustache. He has gay. Well, so the uh, the the weird part is he's gay up until he puts the mustache on. He puts the mustache on. It's completely he's completely He's suave. Yeah. Be me up, Scotty. You called my telegram. No, darling. You wanted weed and strain? Weed? My name's Clozo. Clozo? Well, never mind who you are. Make yourself at home. God damn, he puts on he's a mustache funny. and now he's Casanova. But James Bond is super gay. Well, what do we do in the meanwhile? Whatever you like. Watch television? Television. Gay. Gay. Play chess? Gay. gay. Strip poker? Gay. Wait, what? Wait. No, Wait, damn it, you said yes. Poker? No, no. It's my favorite game. Uh oh. So, yeah, I mean, James Bond is super gay. Uh, <laughs> they, they come out of that and they go into this really long, like, really literally 10 minutes worth of non nude strip poker scene. Uh, Just. It, you think it's a montage, but the montage goes for 10 minutes. It's and just, it has no uh, music. <laughs> it's, just, it's the worst montage oh. of a strip poker scene ever, and it, it goes nowhere. In the it end. really goes it's nowhere. Really. He's like, 
Okay, well nobody's won. How does nobody win at strip poker? Strip poker is a game where everybody wins. <laughs> They totally screwed that up. They dropped the ball. But they tried to offset it with some dry humor. They have uh, Bill Gates doing a little bus sight gag. Uh, he uh, he gets off with some hookers. <laughs> he definitely could say he gets off. Oh, hello. Um, I'm getting off. And I'm getting off the bus, too. Not only will I have you for jumping on this bus, but I'll have you for not paying your fare either. Come along, I'm fast, but Shut okay. up, woman, I gotta catch up with them. Thanks. Hey, four eyes! You ain't got your change! And so they come back from the, the brief stint with the hookers to some... Uh, we, we find the main character has been seduced by one of the alien babes. I mean, surprise, surprise, that's probably only happened about three times already that we, <laughs> that we know of. And, uh, they have some great reaction shots. Alright. I'll wait here till we get a reaction. Splicing some reaction shots of me. I know this game was made about 20 years later than this movie, but I swear that Spy Hunter was, was a s severe inspiration for what they did in the, in the action car chase scenes. What is this, Spy Hunter? And really, the the plot's very loose. I say that in the kindest way. It makes no fucking sense. The, I think the basic theme is that there's these evil British guys who are trying to find Angvia because they want to have sex with the hot chicks, obviously. Vagina, obviously. Vagina, yeah. Seek Angvia. Yes. And then there's this British guy. Oh, by the way, the British guy's name is James Word, obviously. Word. Not Wood, but Bond. It's an anagram for Bond, <laughs> yeah. right? Well, they have. There's also a major Bond as another one of the guys' characters <laughs> in there. It's kind of very heavily. It's such an Bond. obvious illusion. So James Word or Bond is this other secret agent. Whoa, secret agent! Whoa, Never secret saw that agent. coming. And uh, he's trying to, I want to say, find solve both sides of the mystery. I. How it gets tied up, I don't really know. We, yeah, but, I, I mean, his, his ending punishment is he gets ab abducted by the aliens, he's forced to have sex all the time with all of them, eat oysters, and drink beer. And drink beer. And he that's has his a, punishment. That's this naked chick dancing in front of him all the time. A go-go dancer constantly dancing in front of him. This is his punishment. And if, if this is what aliens have to bring us, if this is their wrath, I Why say bring it on. That, that's um, what SETI is all about, isn't mm, it? Huh? Yeah. SETI, we are searching for extraterrestrial erotic life. Sentience. Bring it. Well, you gotta watch out the handguns, too. The chicks definitely have their handguns that they oh. like to hide in their hands. Man, I, yeah, so the, the end battle that resolves everything, I guess, by some people dying is that uh, the, the aliens shoot their hands at people, what twang? Yeah, it makes this really bad sound effect. It's like whing, <laughs> yeah, and they just swing die, and people die, <laughs> and that's it. it was, that's their epic weapon. And there was course. an epic chase scene with one car. <laughs> their one car around. chase scene was pretty awesome, and and that's it. Then they led into his punishment. He got captured somehow. He, and it and it ties it up in a neat bun, right? Yeah, I think the uh, the total score of production cost was probably around five hundred dollars. Five hundred and twenty-five dollars, including film, was actually the running yeah. cost for the movie. But it was still great. I recommend it. Zeta One is go. <laughs> so thanks for joining us, and uh, have a good eve.